Surrounded. She's over here, my lord! Don't hurt me! I'm innocent! You've got to believe me! Take her to the point right away! Spent on overthrowing the kingdom will be dealt with accordingly. We will rid this town of the kidnappers who plague us. Is that perfectly clear? Anyone found hiding or aiding them will be shown no mercy. We will hunt them down to the last man. Evil will be severed from its roots. Do you see what I see? Huh? Help them. We're burning seven people. Seven people. Seven. It's the curse. You're right. It's the curse of Seven Man Point. I can see the ocean now. That means we must be near the land of Kitabayashi. Huh? Let's go, Ogin. Did you forget the author isn't coming with us on this assignment? Thanks for the reminder. You don't live in the same world as us, author. We're different. All right, then let me join you. No! That's not possible. There are boundaries that people should never try to cross. I'm sorry, author. You're someone who must never enter my world, not for any reason. Not ever. I've never seen those three before. They could be a warning. To keep our mouths shut permanently. 
Think the author's in danger too? That kid has come face to face with the Grim Reaper more than once. Which makes me think to survive he has to depend on his own good fortune. Hmm. Right. Let's hope luck keeps the Grim Reaper out of our way in Kitabayashi. Hmm. <laughs> Kyogo Kute, what on earth are you up to now? Our second floor guest. Yes? I'm convinced he's going to hang himself. Oh, you think so too? I know the type. I should after doing this job for so long. Actually, to tell you the truth, I guessed what he was up to as soon as he checked Well, in. hurry up and get rid of him before he does it here. He's free to kill himself if that's what he's determined to do, but he has to do it somewhere else. Why me? Why do I have to tell him? Excuse me. Huh? Yeah? Uh, weren't you lost at sea? I survived. Please forgive that mishap in Sanuki. I'm Ukon Shinonome, former samurai to the house of Kitabayashi. Kitabayashi? Do you know anything about it? No. I've only heard about the curse of Seven Man Point. How much do you know? Well, I know that the legend is supposed to involve a specter, and I'd heard that this Seven Man Point specter originally came from the area around Tosa. If you encounter one, you'll die for sure. It appears to be a kind of multiplying grim reaper. If each of the seven kills seven people, 49 people will die. If each one of those 49 then go out and kill seven more people, the total number of dead is almost limitless. Death starts to spread out exponentially from each point. Exactly. And that's what's happening in the land of Kitabayashi. <gasps> the first year when this curse took hold, seven people quite suddenly vanished from the castle town. The next year it was 14 people, then 28 the year after that. So by now, a countless number of people have just disappeared. The townspeople's fear has grown beyond reason. They're completely paranoid, convinced it's all the work of spies who have infiltrated their land. They even believe that some of their own neighbors are assisting them. No! It's gotten that bad? But with so many people vanishing, there had to have been some clues left behind. Authorities from the castle posted a strict watch and searched thoroughly, but no clues were ever found. And now more and more people are vanishing every day to the point that I'm starting to believe what we're facing here is a real curse. Curse of Seven Man Point. But regardless of whether it's a plot to take over the kingdom or a curse, the outcome is still the same. People are disappearing without a trace. I couldn't stand it anymore, which is why I snuck away from that place. You mean... you're a lordless samurai? I had no choice. Uh. My wife was one of those who vanished. <sighs> What's worse, she was pregnant. And she's been gone for three months. She was pregnant? When I investigated her disappearance, I was able to learn something. What? Master Yamaoka, I too have seen the terrible weapon hidden on that island. I think there is a conspiracy in motion. Someone will use the flame lance again? Shh. Master Yamaoka, my instincts say you've been marked for death. Death? Why me? Simply because you happen to know too much. I'm gonna go out for a little while. Well, that's a rare thing for you to do. What about your guest, the Ronin? He's still up in my room.
You be sure and come back soon. A good for coming back here. Oh. What a load off my mind. Please accept your death gracefully. Actually, I knew when I said it that he wouldn't be back. Hold it. Did you get the money he owes us? Ha. Ah. Got the moolah right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone among these people who's trying to kill me. Oddly, I'm not scared at all. Could it be because my heart already longs for death? But when one longs for it, does that desire bring him right up to death's door? Momosuke! Momosuke! Uh, huh? Heihachi! <laughs> it is you! Yeah. Sorry, I'm in a hurry, Heihachi. Hmm? Hold it a second. Why are you rushing away? What's going on? It'd be better for you if you just stay away from me. What are you talking about? I tell you, running into you here has got to be fate, my friend. Have you heard what's going on in Kitabayashi? Kitabayashi? I have to tell you, this is the first time I've ever been in such danger. It feels like you're walking into the middle of a pack of wolves when you're summoned to that castle. You don't know if you're going to come out of it, or if you're going to come out in one piece. I swear, never again. You say you were personally summoned? Let me show you what they wanted to purchase. Places that seem to lie at the ends of the earth have curious things in them. Huh? They call it an atrocity print. <laughs> a pregnant woman? As you know, only a few major publishers will print violent material like this. They put out seven serialized scrolls a year for a total of 28 volumes. They print seven per year? Momoska, take it easy. What's wrong with you? Hey, Hachi, who was interested in purchasing these scrolls from you? Well, I don't know. I told you I was summoned directly to the castle. Who in that castle would want them? Oh, hey, where are you going? Uko! Could it be? Could the curse of Seven Man Point be? If so, Mataichi and the others are in danger. <laughs> Please, don't take my life! I'll never tell anyone about that weapon, I swear! I... I, I can't die! It's too soon! I can't die! Not yet! Please, I don't regret my life! Don't take it! Master Yamaoka! that I didn't arrive sooner, but you got here faster than I expected. I recognize these lackeys for my run-in with them in the Flamelands in Sanuki. Thanks, Ukon. What's happening at Seven Man Point has nothing to do with a curse. What? Real, live people are behind the activities there. What do you mean? They're duplicating the horrors of the curse. These criminals live in the castle. Oh. <laughs> Let's burn more of them! I want everyone to pay attention! There are a lot more enemy dogs hiding in our town! Hunt every one of these mongrels down! Show no mercy! This guy's bet on making hell on Earth. Yeah? I wonder what it is they're building over there. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Master Yamaoka. Y yes We can't take the horse past here. We have to go along a narrow ledge. Don't worry. Heights don't bother me. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not fine. You 
you can see it now, Master Yamaoka. That's... Kitabayashi Castle? Now it all just seems like a bad dream. Lady Kaede, the wife of our previous lord, jumped to her death from that tower. Fortunes began to happen around here. It was the beginning of everything. We should wait until after sundown before we attempt to enter the village. <laughs> Who's that man? Donjo, Lord of the Castle. Toranoshi! My son Donjo, what are you doing to me? Tell me, Denzo. My lord? How much longer? A month. We cannot wait that long. You have two weeks. Yes, my lord. What are you planning to do, Mata? Actually, I thought I'd just sneak into the castle. Are you serious? Huh? Oh, great. Looks like a couple of lost travelers have wandered into town. They're in trouble. <laughs> Explain yourselves. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, it took us a lot longer to cross the mountains than I had anticipated. We only just arrived here. So I see. Sounds like you've had a rough journey, but now it's over! Uh. So much for him! Now what do we do with this girl? Shirogiku. To the next world, we commit thee. Mataichi! Remember me, Shiragiku. I shall shine on in the shadows! It figures where there's fire, she's bound to be around. <laughs> Kaburagi, bring her along. Yes, ma'am. Is it possible the curse of Seven Man Point is her, Mata? This is certainly going to be a pain. Master Yamaoka. Yes? My wife, Suzu. Was she killed the way it's shown in that atrocity print? This all may only be my imagination. It's just that the person interested in buying all these seven part scrolls lives there in the castle. Seven parts? So it's connected to Seven Man Point? That's what I think. Someone's coming. <laughs> that little girl. They're gonna kill her like the one in the scroll. <laughs> Gavaragi, you did it! It was you all the time! <laughs> what a nice surprise. I missed you, Ukon. I know you're upset with me, but your wife is still alive. Ugh. You're lying. No, I'm not. We kept her alive because she wasn't due to give birth quite yet. You've all gone over the edge. Draw your swords. That's the dumbest samurai I've ever seen. It's you, Ogin, and Mataichi. I see your luck still remains amazingly powerful. How do you do it? Huh? Uh-oh, watch out. Here come the tough guys. We'll withdraw for now. I get it. They select a girl to kill who matches the picture in the scroll. That means the scream we heard before. That's right. They'll eventually kill that girl, too. In a sick way, it makes sense, but it's certainly an awful theory you've come up with, author. I don't like it either. I've got to figure out a way to save Ukon. 
Oh, brother, you know, I'm really getting tired of this. Are we supposed to rescue that idiot? Well, I... And why should we help you? You're always doing this to us. <sighs> Arthur. Arthur, I don't mean to rob you of hope. But that samurai was looking for a place to die. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Well, we'd better get this plan off the ground. Ogin? Mm hmm? Let's go, it's showtime. Yeah. <gasps> who, who are you? I am the Lady of the Point. My fury knows no end. If you wish to quiet the curse, raise a shrine to me. <laughs> What's with this castle? So many hidey holes and secret passages. Yeah, but thanks to them, we didn't have any trouble sneaking in. There's definitely something shady about this place. Did you hear that? It sounds very weird. Huh? from that machine. Looks like we've found him. The spirit that's been haunting this land. Which makes him the enemy we must face. The lord of this castle, Donjo Kitabayashi. Soft and sweet Though there's not a cream Of a breeze Moonlight dancing On the garden wall As it gently drifts Through the trees Remain straight white On this perfect night while all of the world lay sleeping, find us here as we feel the moment of love. Draw near, dream, sleep with your hands. We share the warmth of the dawn. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. There are as many sorrows as there are specters, people's dark hearts, and apparitions. That's why I continue to write of the sad darkness these specters inhabit. Next time on Natsuhiko Kyogoku's Requiem from the Darkness, the final episode, The Death Spirits of Seven Man Point, Part 2. To the next world we commit thee.